The Iceman cometh. Mr. Freeze began his life in Batman comics as Mr. Zero. He became Mr. Freeze only later on during the TV show when they changed the name. George Sanders was the first one to play Mr. Freeze on the TV series. Uh, Otto Preminger played Mr. Freeze as well on the TV series. The Mr. Freeze character is formidable. Arnold is already formidable. And Mr. Freeze has to live at zero or below degrees. And he would like the rest of the world to live at zero or below as well. Um, minus 10 would be actually perfect for him. He wants to freeze the world. And he want them, wants to make everyone as cold as Mr. Freeze's heart is, basically. Soon we will be together once more. Soon. I think his, the tragedy of him and his wife and his love for her and how his heart had literally gone cold because he couldn't find a cure, he couldn't save her, is an amazing story. And unlike Batman, he had a chance to save her. And Batman never had a chance to save his parents, the people he loved as much as Mr. Freeze loved his wife. One more diamond, my love. Schwarzenegger was a great Mr. Freeze, coming off of some sense of depth to his character, and that maybe in the world of superheroes and supervillains, everything isn't always black and white. You're the most perfect man I've ever known. What do you say we heat things up? My passion thoughts for my bride alone. Mr. Freeze is a very popular and uh, sexy character. So all these uh, women uh, are surrounding him. But any time they make a move on him, any kind of a sexual move uh, or sexy move, he tells them that his uh, you know, passion thaws for his bride alone. He really is a man of principles. He is the whole thing that he does. And as evil as he is, but it's all for one thing, and that is for his wife. The city fathers will have no choice but to give me the Billions I need to complete my research. So I can find a cure. One day in the middle of uh, filming of uh, Batman and Robin, I was invited to the set and I brought my uh, nephew with me. And, you know, he was maybe seven at the time and just see his eyes light up when he was on the Mr. Freeze set and he got to meet Arnold Schwarzenegger and have a look around and we saw the image of the girl floating in the tank. It was kind of cool to see that they had interpreted those bits of our animated mythos into the live action movie. It's kind of fun on the one hand thinking that you made the cut, that what you brought to a, a character or a, or a villain like Mr. Freeze meant enough that they interpreted it into the movie. Yes. It's kind of nice being part of the ongoing mythology. Winter has come at last.